Hey there, my name is Karina Pittman. Welcome to my channel. I am a certified health coach and my goal is to help you figure out how you could heal your body with food ultimately. So today I want to talk about my diabetes story. I am a type 1 diabetic if you do not know that. So let's just get started. It all started when I was around 11 years old. I am 20 now. Back in 2009, I used to pee the bed a lot. When I was younger, we did not know why. We thought it was weird. I thought it was incredibly weird and embarrassing, but I was like 11, 10 years old. I did not know at all why this stuff was happening. There was one night where I went to bed or something happened and my parents were just like, what the heck? And it was like the middle of the night. They were like, why does this keep happening? And I was like severely thirsty and they ended up taking me to the hospital or they called an e ER and me being me, uh, 11, 10 year old, 11 year old and I was like, what the heck is going on? And you know, initially like, I'm like, why is this happening? Like, this is annoying. But then when my parents want to take me to the hospital, I was just like, okay, I don't know what any of this means. I don't know why this is happening, but whatever. So I'm rolling with it because I have no decision else because I'm a kid. And we, so I, I remember headed there, but I don't know. And all I really remember is them saying like, oh, you have diabetes. And I was in like fourth grade at the time or something or it was before for, I don't remember. And it, I missed a whole entire week of school and they said, Karina, you have type one diabetes. And me being a 10 year old, I said, what the heck does that mean? I don't know what that means, like what? And basically all I understood was that I had to take shots. And in my little brain, I thought, why I hate shots like I hate needles when I was like three years old they tried to get me a flu shot or something and they pushed like made me sit on the counter and I just cried and like tried to run away like I was like oh no 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 <laughs> um but that's all I really understood and I didn't know I've never heard of diabetes when I was 10 I was so confused we were in the hospital and my, I saw my parents cry, my brother cried. I've never seen my brother cry before. I was just so confused. So that we were there for about a week. I sat there, they gave me IVs and all this stuff. And I came home and it was like, bam, life change. So then after we came back from the hospital, that is when the awkwardness came about. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to tell anybody. That's so embarrassing. And still up to this point, sometimes I do have a hard time talking to people about it because, you know, it's it's different because you don't want to be looked at differently. Like your pancreas isn't working and now you have to have this device on you. And you don't want to be looked at differently. And especially when you're 10 years old, that is like the biggest thing. So... That's kind of where it led me today and building this membership site, which I will have linked down below. But my goal is to help people who have autoimmune diseases, even those who don't, to get rid of stubborn weight or lower your symptoms or get rid of the inflammation in your body ultimately. In there, I will, it's monthly and you learn how to have better nutrition and to be healthier in your life and ultimately help you feel better and look better you are guided by me and we will have calls every couple weeks and really hope and really guide you to becoming the best you you can be at an affordable cost so that link is down below and i hope to see you in there um but ultimately that's where it's led me today and my story so if you if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below. If you are new, if you have any questions about diabetes, my membership site, whatever the case is, comment below or reach out to me. And yeah, so I will see you next time. Bye.